Hello, 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 everyone. It's your buddy Jay Rasik with another great episode of the Omaha Zoo. And uh, today we are going to be recreating the live jungle. Now, if you go to 3dwarehouse.com, you'll notice uh, just a few seconds ago uh, there was a video, or not a video, but a uh, 3D version, a rendition of the live jungle, which really helps with the architecture. Um, unfortunately, I've struggled dramatically with trying to get this roof the way that it should be. Um, and when I tried to do the hexagonal approach, it really made the roof look very wonky. Um, and it was just very infuriating to me for the main fact that I could not get this roof looking seamless. Um, I'm going to try a couple different other approaches off camera here and I may still record that um, as a uh, revision of the light jungle if I do get it to work. Um, but I think it, unfortunately it's going to be a pretty high piece count if I do go a route that I think after watching this video and, and doing the voiceover I, I kind of have a an idea of what I could do. Um, so as you can see here I'm, I'm struggling a bit. Uh, it's not going the way I want at all, um, but in the end, it does give a pretty decent look of the light jungle, um, and it gives a somewhat of a recreation. Uh, and here, I'm about to try the straight approach to have the straight angles, just like the game, um, and... This is where I try to do the hexagonal or approach. And that, there we have the roof part that was getting me very upset. Um, so, I mean, if you have an idea on how to get that right, um, please let me know in the comments below because I'm, I'm getting really frustrated with not having this as an accurate uh, representation, an accurate size of the live jungle. Which, again, I try to get things as as best as possible to be recreated. Um, so, it's still a work in progress, obviously. So, give you a little background on the Light Jungle. Uh, the Light Jungle at the Omaha Zoo opened in April 4th of 1992. I remember going this here as a kid when it first opened. Um, I think we sh went there in 93. And it was just awe-striking. I mean, it it became, from that point forward, my favorite zoo. And I always wonder, I'm like, why can't my home zoo do this? Because the, the, we do have a zoo in my hometown, and it's nothing compared to the Omaha Zoo. Nothing. Plus, the Omaha Zoo, it's really hard to compete with because of how great, how huge and, and how great their exhibits are. Uh, the zoo we have here is okay. They try, but... There's a lot of room of improvement uh, for the zoo here uh, where I live. Uh, the cost of the light jungle cost $15 million. Uh, it is one of the largest indoor rainforest exhibits in the world. And again, uh, coming to this exhibit when I was a kid, the only thing I could ever think of with this jungle was, ooh, this would be real, really cool with animatronic dinosaurs. And I, you know, growing up, I'm like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to create the same thing, except have like walking around animatronic dinosaurs and everything. Because back in 92, animatronic, well, actually prior to 92, even robotic type dinosaurs were out uh, on tour and stuff like that. And I was like, my dream came true. <laughs> um, the light jungle uh, does occupy uh, 20... Uh, it, it does occupy a 80 foot uh, or 24 meter tall building that spans across 1.5 acres uh, and, is and is located just inside the main entrance. Uh, the exhibit allows uh, visitors to look out from behind a 50 foot uh, or 15 meter tall waterfall, which we're going to try and recreate in this as well. Um, inside, uh, there is 11,400 square meters of floor space. Uh, which uh, 5,670 square meters are planted exhibits and uh, 3,250 square meters are of display area and the rest is just education 
Um, they have kind of like a little safari area or campground area. Um, information about uh, deforestation, uh, poaching, and, uh, and of course the illegal pet trade. Uh, what's really nice about this light jungle is that it's a double tiered. Um, and what that means is that there's a lower level that people can walk along the jungle trail. Um, and then there's an upper level that kind of circulates around the ridge and, and kind of entwines through the canopy of the jungle. Where, and they have artificial vines and stuff that you can actually hang on and have great photo opportunities. I mean, it's just absolutely wonderful. There is tons of free flying, uh, free roaming animals in here. Um, uh, lots of birds. And of course, uh, they have uh, Indonesian flying foxes, which is really cool. I mean, these things have like a wingspan of like three feet wide. They're crazy. Um, and they're just tons of them. And in fact, they have done so well in the lie jungle that the Omaha Zoo actually does not have an official count of how many animals they have because they just bred like no other. Uh, they're literally bats with wings or uh, rats with wings. So, uh, but yeah, so these bats and birds and everything fly right over you. Um, in fact, I remember there was one point where my dad actually got pooped on by a bird, um, and it was it was pretty nasty. Uh, both levels, again, are split into sections by continents, including Asia, Africa, and South America. Uh, and along both trails, about 90 species can be found, and those are including the blue monkey, the common squirrel monkey, black howler monkeys, uh, pygmy hippopotamus, scarlet macaws, Bayard tapirs, Indian crested porcupines, gibbons, uh, otters, uh, thousands and thousands of s different s types of Amazon fishes, including cichlids and arowanas. Um, and there's a huge one in there. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, these uh, huge, huge fish that are probably, I have to say, almost eight, eight feet long. Um, they're just crazy. Uh, they, are, they used to have ring-tailed lemurs, red ruffed lemurs, and black and white ruffed lemurs um, that were in the light jungle. They later got moved on into the uh, Expedition Madagascar exhibit upon opening in 2010. Uh, other species that uh, probably aren't listed on Wikipedia that I know are there um, are several different types of monitors, snakes, uh, lizards, um, as well as uh, uh, tree, tree frogs. Uh, poison dart frogs uh, and a bunch of other amphibians that you see and, and even some in insects um, they moved a lot of the insects into the insect butterfly pavilion um, but still there's still a few in there um, there's also uh, some uh, I believe there's a ja uh, used to be a jaguar or ocelot in there I can't remember if they that is still in there um, I'll be finding it out in May uh, when we're going down to Lai Jungle or to the Omaha Zoo, which I'm going to be doing uh, some videos and walkthroughs on that, so then you folks can see uh, exactly how we are doing the recreation, um, and it's more, mainly for my own purpose for uh, reference for these as well for this jungle as well as this entire zoo. Um, that way, I can be a little bit more accurate with my builds. Um, <clears throat> The other nice thing about the Lie Jungle is there's the Durham Treetops Restaurant, which I did in the previous episode, in uh, episode 2 and episode 2.1, um, or part 2. Uh, they have a, literally a 90-foot floor-to-ceiling window, um, which is located right next to the, to the uh, Lie Jungle. And you can see right into the canopy and over, and even see the, uh, I believe it's white, white face gibbons. Um, also, this exhibit has gained worldwide recognition and several different awards. Um, it was rated the single best uh, zoo exhibit in the country in 94 and also a um, significant achievement award for the exhibit design in 93 by the American Association of Zoological Parks and Aquariums and also the top designs in the world in 1992 by Times. Uh, it's also the top eight U.S. engineering accomplishments in 92 by the National Society of Professional Engineers. That all can be found on Wikipedia. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, walking through this in real life is just awestrucking. Uh, it's just crazy. Uh, it literally 
takes you to a whole nother part of the world uh, right here in the Midwest um, I highly recommend this exhibit um, anyone that goes to the Omaha Zoo can contest that this is one of the best exhibits if in in the United States uh, especially when it comes down to a rainforest so we have a few minutes left here so I want to talk about some upcoming projects with this zoo um, after this episode we're probably going to get into the foliage and exhibits I'm going to try and get those down as pat as best as possible um, a lot of people have been saying when are you going to finish the Omaha uh, Desert Dome I don't know I've done that seven times now I have really been prolonging it so I'm going to take a little poll um, if you guys tell me what we want to do we got three choices uh, one is going to be the insect butterfly pavilion Scott's aquarium or the uh, the uh, desert dome and Knights of, uh, kingdom of the knights so I'm going to put those in the comments below and the way we're going to do that whoever votes on the most will whatever uh, comment got the most likes uh, will be the next build um, after the live jungle so go ahead and comment below if, if and if you have an idea on how I can get this to be more accurate um, definitely let me know give me some insights and thoughts of what you think we could do um, if for whatever reason you want to recreate it and send me the blueprint I'd be happy to go ahead and take a look at it because uh, I'm kind of struggling with this roof I'm not gonna lie um, I'm gonna try a few other things here shortly after this is done being recorded um, so the next video may of course be have it look a little different um, I may record it still I don't know so that's pretty much it for this episode of the speed bill um, I want to thank you all for watching uh, we had an explosion of views uh, within the last week we had uh, over 880 views uh, this last uh, week uh, with this channel um, so I you know thank you um, uh, just you know definitely like the video uh, if indeed it's something that you like if you don't like it dislike it I don't care it shows up the same on YouTube for me for for interactions anyways um, and uh, yeah so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let you guys go for the last two to three minutes here of this uh, speed build uh, till next time you know definitely like this video subscribe if you haven't and if you would like to follow this series also don't forget to vote on what you like to see uh, down below uh, or uh, just any comments in general is fine too. Till next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again so much for watching. And uh, don't forget to always build, play, and enjoy. Goodbye, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Did you enjoy this video? It would really mean a lot to me if you smash that like button to let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon for future video contents and notifications of uploads. Also, leave a comment below on what you like about this video and what you'd like to see in the series. You can follow me on Steam, Twitch, and Discord. Till next time, build, play, and enjoy.